In this episode, you're gonna learn how to make a Mountain Dew smoothie. The ingredients you're gonna need for this one is Mountain Dew! Alive! Yes, I got it! A blender! And you're gonna need some sugar. And last but not least, some ice, ice! Before we get started, I wanna say that this has a special ice crush feature. If you guys don't have one of those, just use a coffee grinder. You can take it and put it in, put the ice in a cup and just put it in like that. Don't make any sexual references. Now let's take the ice and plop it in. So once you have it filled up a little more than halfway, you're going to want to find the lid and put that on. Put the lid on. Before you press the ice crush button, make sure to take the top off, get a Mountain Dew, open it. Uh, they don't have to be cold, mine's really cold. Just pour it in, and I can see it's steaming from the top, and boom. And now put the lid back on, or this little thing. I'll get back to you once the ice crush feature has finished doing its job. And now this is where you need your lime, so just peel it. Yes, you heard me correct, peel your lime. Mine is pretty disfigured, it's gonna take a while to peel, so I'll get back to you. When the I didn't say it before, but you are gonna wanna peel your um, lime over the blender. The reason you want to peel it over the blender is so the juice gets in, and the reason we actually want to add this is it'll give the smoothie, or slurpee in this case, a little pizzazz and gets a little more of a texture to it, a little pulpy texture. If you don't like that, you can just put the juice in, but I tend to like it, so let's plop that in. Now you want to take the rest of your ice and just plop it right in here. And now once you've blended all the ice into it, you're just going to want to put it on sort of the stir slash mix feature, not to where it kind of just mixes it, but to where it'll still, you know, chop things up. So I'm going to put on the chop feature. Now once you put the rest of your ice in, it should be three-fourths full, and this is where sugar comes into play. You just need a tablespoon, I think that's what this is, and then you're just going to need to take a one thing full of it. Uh, make sure it doesn't overflow at all, because it'll be too sugary and you're not going to want that. But you want enough sugar to even out the, kind of the tangy or sour bitterness of the lime, so it'll solve the flavor though, and then throw that right in there and then blend it more. Now the consistency should be about that much of an actual um, Slurpee. And now let's pour it into a cup and try it out. And now I have a red solo cup right here. Um, we can open up the blender. Fill the red solo cup up. Oh, that's spilling. And we'll have a party. Proceed to party. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and share the video with everybody that you know. So, thank you guys so much, and adios.